At a recent rally, Donald Trump was talking about Minnesota, which is a state where Representative Ilhan Omar is from. And so, of course, you know, since she's been a target of his in the past, he, is, he decided to bring her up. And what he says about her is so disrespectful, so outrageous, so brazenly xenophobic and racist that it's shocking even for Donald Trump. Like, it shouldn't be shocking, but it still is because you'd think for how big of a mouth he has, you know, there's still got to be some mechanism in his brain that gets him to shut up about certain things that he's thinking. But no, he said the quiet part out loud again. Uh, but thankfully, um, I think that she hit back in a way that is, uh, is satisfactory, to say the least. But first, this is what he said about her. We're going to win the state of Minnesota because of her, they say. He's telling us how to run our country. How did you do where you came from? How is your country doing? They're going to tell. She's going to tell us. She's telling us how to run our country. That was extremely racist. I mean, I don't know what else to say about it. That was extremely racist. And I know Republicans are going to say, how is it racist? How is it racist, Mike? He's literally saying, oh, she's telling us how to run our country, implying that this isn't her country. Fuck you. This is her country. This is her country. She is an individual who is emblematic of the American dream. Like, I think the American dream is dead. But if you want to get Americans to think that it's still alive, then you'd point to someone like Ilhan Omar, who came to this country as a refugee from Somalia and ended up becoming a member of Congress. Like, that is the American dream. Like, you should be celebrating her if you are a patriotic American, as Trump and his supporters claim to be. But he's saying, who does she think she is? She's telling us how to run our country? This isn't her country. How dare she tell us what's good for us? This immigrant, this black person telling us how to run our country. That's what he's trying to communicate to his racist followers. And if you can't see it, you're just, you're blind. Now, um, what's ironic is that she is um, much more competent and capable than Donald Trump could ever be. She could run the country better than Donald Trump. She actually has policy prescriptions to the issues that we're dealing with. She supports policies that are very popular. So rather than scoffing at her telling you how to run your country, maybe you should shut the fuck up and listen to her because she actually knows more than you about this. But I don't have to speak very long because I think that she really offered the best defense for herself. And her clapback was just, it was A++. So she responded on Twitter saying, Firstly, this is my country, and I am a member of the house that impeached you. Damn. Secondly, I fled civil war when I was eight. An eight-year-old doesn't run a country even though you run our country like one. She then followed up saying, These cult-like rallies leave me wondering one thing. And she then shared a gif from Mean Girls with Regina George saying, why are you so obsessed with me? Damn. <laughs> I love Ilhan Omar. Like, she brings the fire and she lets all of this shit and toxicity from Donald Trump roll off of her back. But honestly, like, I don't know how she takes it. She's probably my favorite member of Congress. And I don't know how she is able to withstand all of these attacks. I mean, she gets death threats regularly. She gets attacked by the president in a racist manner, explicitly so, on a semi-regular basis, and still she can laugh about it and share a gif from Mean Girls. I don't know how she has the willpower to go on, I just don't, which is why I respect her so much, which is why she's such an inspiration to me, which is why she's my favorite member of Congress, because she puts up with more bullshit than anyone, perhaps in the history of Congress, in recent history, has had to put up with. I mean, nobody else deals with this. Nobody else does. I mean, you see AOC, you know, withstand sexist attacks, you know, uh, Republicans calling her stupid and whatnot. But Ilhan Omar, she gets death threats. People in her own district are, you know, threatening to harm her. And you have the president attacking her and she still goes on. She still keeps fighting. She never backs down. She always stands strong. I mean, if Ilhan Omar isn't a leader, nobody is. She expresses all of the qualities that you look for in a member of Congress. 
And honestly, if there are more people like her running this country, we'd be in a much better place. And this is her country. I'm glad that she re reiterated that. It's obvious, but you have to say it. This is her country. It's not something that belongs to oligarchs like Donald Trump, who were born with a silver spoon in his mouth, who created businesses off of daddy's money. This is more her country than it is your country. And go fuck yourself, Donald Trump. Like, the things that he says are just outrageous. And even if we're all desensitized at this point because it's Donald Trump and he always says stupid things, we shouldn't become accustomed to this, where he is openly attacking a member of Congress and literally saying, you're telling us how to run our country? She's literally running the country. She's in Congress. You absolute fucking tool. I'm just sick of Donald Trump. I'm over it. Um, but, you know, credit to Ilhan Omar for bringing that fire and responding and just never backing down. I really respect her. Mike is the worst progressive on YouTube. Please don't subscribe to him or become a patron. David Dole is so much better. Trust me, folks. He's doing a great job. He really is. Okay?